Hi everybody, this is a very brief video on how not to get COVID-19. We know that COVID-19 is uh, alarming, now it is being spread everywhere. So how not to get COVID-19? It has been more than a year and I've been following all these practices religiously over the last more than one year, you know, and what science say how not to spread COVID-19 and how not to get, uh, you know, the important measures on how not to get the COVID-19. Let me share. I think it's very, very important. Please stay tuned and watch till end. It's a very brief video. So as uh, you know, we can see that what science says is that we have three important measures to stop spreading COVID-19 and stop getting COVID-19. These are physical distancing, mask and vaccine. These three things. So unnecessary complications, why to go for, right? There is a philosophical concept called Oxham's razor. You know, I don't have time to elaborate on it. You can search it out. So simply put, unnecessary complications, stop it. We just have three measures and stick to these three important measures on not to get the COVID-19. And you know, it's a combined approach is always important. So what we need is a combined approach of all these three measures. That means that even if you maintain physical distancing, physical distancing of two meter or more than two meters, you need to wear mask. And even if you wear proper mask, you need to maintain physical distancing. And even if you get a vaccine, you still need to wear mask and maintain physical distancing. So you need a combined approach, you see. And you might wonder how about the, you know, the original, uh, you know, recommendation of the uh, uh, various policy makers like hand sanitizers and hand washing. Friends, we now know that COVID-19 is airborne. You know, that means that the disease is being spread by extremely small particles and uh, minute respiratory droplets. So much more than hand sanitizers and the use of soap, we have to concentrate on mask, physical distancing and vaccine. That doesn't mean that you don't have to wash your uh, hands often. That is part of the uh, normal healthy hygiene, you know. So that is absolutely fine. But the attention for not to get COVID-19 should be on the mask and physical distancing, you know, and plus get a vaccine. We now have got a third uh, weapon for fighting the COVID-19 too. And this is a very important and very famous illustration that, uh, you know, this model is something called Swiss cheese model. You know, so because the Swiss cheese are layered, so there are several layers to stop us from getting this infection. This is originally proposed by the famous virologist Ian McKay and featured in uh, the New York Times a month ago. So we have got multiple layers to improve the success. Some of these layers are personal responsibilities while other layers are shared responsibilities where policymakers are also involved. So coming first to the, the personal responsibility, the first one is physical distancing, I told you. And the second one is mask, you know, and the third one is hand hygiene, cough etiquette. That means if you cough, you have to cover your uh, face uh, or sneezing as well. You should cover your face and avoid touching your face is another uh, important thing. And if crowded, limit your time, fast and sensitive testing and tracing. These are shared responsibility, you know, testing. You cannot do that. It's a responsibility. It's a shared responsibility because you have to get it tested and the government should give you adequate facility to get tested, right? And ventilation, outdoors and air filtration, quarantine and isolation, government messaging and financial support and vaccines. So all these are multiple layers of protection and I picked up three most important layers from this Swiss cheese model. As I, as I uh, told you, these three important layers are the first one is physical distancing, second one is mask and the third one is vaccine. Uh, yeah, I would still argue that this much more than hand hygiene, you know, uh, like uh, soap and sanitizer, mask is important because right now we know that it's airborne disease. You know, so that is what the prioritization is all about, right? Now, coming to physical distancing, uh, you know, it is not just the maintaining the two meter of the physical distancing, but it's much more, you know, uh, self-imposed lockdown is part of the physical distancing, avoid unnecessary travel. From the last uh, last year's lockdown, we learned that there are lots of repercussions of a governmental a complete lockdown, you know, because there are economic uh, GDP tremendously goes down and humanitarian aspects also the impacts of humanitarian grounds like migrant workers, especially the pregnant woman and, uh, you know, uh, uh, how, where will they go, you know, and how the how will they earn the money? All these are important factors. So you cannot blame the government for not imposing the complete lockdown. 
from. It's understandable. Humanity matters too, right? So it's our shared responsibility for our own self-imposed lockdown. You know, the, don't wait for government to impose a lockdown. That is what I'm, I'm asking you, you know. So uh, because the government did not impose lockdown doesn't mean that it's a, it's a permission for you for the casual attitude. You know, of course, there are several uh, good attitude. You have to do that physical maintenance, you know, f maintaining the physical distancing is one of the important factor. Uh, COVID appropriate behavior. So do that. Don't wait for the government to impose the, the lockdown, you know. <clears throat> And my advice is to avoid traveling all together. Stop visiting friends and families for at least for a few months and also discourage your friends and families from visiting your home. You know, because, you know, it's we have to actually break the chain. You see, it's all part of the physical distancing and really important because the masking is not possible while eating. Uh, yes. So, you know, the eating or restaurant is really important. You see the maintain the adequate physical distancing when eating indoors. If you go to the restaurants, uh, you know, so uh, it's really important to maintain the physical distancing because how can you wear a mask while having food, isn't it? So my suggestion is completely avoid eating in, in the restaurant. Restaurants. Instead, you prefer to you know cook at home. That's the best option. Or if you really want to enjoy the restaurant meals, go for takeouts. You know there are so many apps available uh, that enable you to order the food from outside. It's, it's still much more safer. Or eat outdoor sitting area of the restaurant. So several of this restaurant offers outdoor sitting area, so you can sit over there to enjoy a meal. That is much more better. And go online for meeting and classes. If you're a teacher like me, go for online teaching. There is no problem with that, uh, you know. And also meeting, it's completely avoid any kind of physical uh, meeting, in-person meeting. So instead of that, go for online meeting. And get out of the crowded places as fast as you can. For example, if you're like me, you enjoy, uh, you know, the riding, the cycle. So whenever I come across the street with lots of people, I, I tend to pedal faster. I want to get out of that place much faster because the chances are high that, you know, that most of has got this co coronavirus particles. It's airborne, friends. Science already revealed that the COVID-19 is an airborne disease. So we have to apply our common sense to not to get this, uh, you know, the disease. And ensure adequate ventilation at the workplace. That's really important. Even if, you know, if at all, work from home option is not available for you. If you really have to go to the workplace, it's important to open up the windows to ensure there is a proper ventilation. Uh, because how can you trust the, uh, you know, the air conditioning system? If it's a centralized air conditioning, uh, are they maintaining the uh, filtration adequately? All these are really important, you know. So if the filters are not maintained adequately, then uh, we know that uh, this, uh, you know, centralized air conditioning can be pretty dangerous because these are microscopic particles. The viral particles can be spread from one corner of a big building to another corner pretty fast, you know. So it's much better to trust on nature just open up the windows it could be a bit uncomfortable it could be pretty hard but still it's much better than risking your life and contact tracing is really important that means that if you are positive please reveal there had been some stigma with COVID-19 much earlier, but now it is not a big deal. Everybody is revealing now, you know. So if, if you are positive, it's COVID appropriate behavior is please reveal that you are positive and don't hide your status. So the gossip mongers will anyway spread, uh, you know, why to wait uh, till the gossip mongers spread your status. So it's better to reveal on the social media itself. Let the world know that you are COVID positive so that even if somebody uh, has come in close contact with you, they can get tested by themselves, you know. So it's better. That is what the government is also saying. Please reveal, please mark it in your uh, app, you know, the uh, whatever that Aruki Sedo, for example, mark it that if you are positive, reveal in the, in the social media. That's really important. COVID appropriate behavior. And consult a physician and take home or hospital quarantine for at least two weeks. If you are getting positive, tested positive for COVID-19, uh, it's important to get a consultation from the, the doctor. Coming second, uh, most important approach is mask. I've uh, covered masks so many times in this channel. Please have a look. I've linked up below in the show notes of this video. Uh, you know, for example, the fabric or surgical or N95, which one is the best? I've already introduced the concept of microfiber face mask, the triple layered face mask with the microfiber inner layer. 
and um, uh, yes so microfiber can really help it's a common sense solution making use of one to mars forces because microfiber has extremely small nanoscale grooves that can effectively trap the viral particles so in principle microfiber face mask is much better than n95 check it out that video and CDC itself is now started recommending double masking. That means that uh, where, uh, you know, where a N95 and a surgical mask or a fabric mask and N95 together. So that kind of double masking can also be better. But check it out, the video on the triple masking. It's actually very simple and environmentally friendly and sustainable option. You know, it's there is no disposable involved and it's really, really adequate, uh, you know. And how to use the mask and wash it? I've again I have released several videos on those lines. Never touch the front part of the mask. That's one of the most important take-home message because the front part of the mask has got the viral particle. You know the chances are very high that COVID-19 uh, virus, that is corona, novel coronavirus type two, is present in the front part. So if you touch it then you really need to wash your hands very properly you know so there is a very high risk of uh, getting covid 19 by touching the front part i have seen that in the videos in this young academy where i'm part of many of my friends in the academy they touch their mask during videos so please stop it it's really bad behavior okay and if if you want to remove your mask you have to hold uh, you know the uh, the loops and then remove it and wash with liquid detergent if you're using a fabric mask uh, never use the solid detergent like the, the detergent powder like syrup or whatever you know instead use a liquid detergent because the the solid particles of this uh, you know this uh, 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 detergent powder can get trapped inside the mask you know so especially in the uh, in, in, if you are using the microfiber mask, so it's much better to use a liquid detergent for washing the mask, you know, and uh, yeah, so it's more important that, uh, to use a mask in indoor. Indoor doesn't mean only inside your home. Of course, uh, you don't really have to use, but the government is now recommending, and also my good friend Professor Gagandeep Khan is also recommending, uh, you know, you better wear the mask inside your home. If you are, of course, living with other family members and you suspect them that they might be exposed, then it's better to use the mask inside your home. Uh, you know but indoor i meant to say that inside a building you know and crowded places uh, uh, something like if you're going to a supermarket or if you're going in a public transportation or the crowded places like a street it's better to use mask it's important to use the mask you know and always wear mask indoors and crowded outdoors like the streets i told you these two locations are really important crowded outdoors and indoors you know and outdoors when alone, like if you are in, in, inside a park, if you're reading alone, uh, I don't think mask is that important, you know. And also while exercising, especially if you're doing cardio, or for example, running or if you're uh, uh, in, in the cycling, you know, if you're cycling at a very high fast pace, uh, it's better not to wear a mask. That is what the CDC is also uh, advising because, uh, you know, if you sweat, uh, wearing mask is never a good idea. You know, so mask can be avoided as per the CDC. Well, we don't really have any guideline in here in the in our uh, government, but yeah, this is what the science says. You know, so mask is more important in indoors as well as crowded places, especially in the, uh, you know, in uh, in the uh, this one the uh, public transportation. So I told you that I have actually covered this mask so many times in uh, several of these YouTube videos. For example, here best mask and mask accessories is one of the video which I released how often should we wash the fabric mask and how to wash it properly and does wearing mask lead to hypercapnia and hypoxia that is a fake news busting video and please don't wear mask with the warms that is the first thing and also uh, an, a video on uh, you know the van der waals forces and microfiber face mask too you know so we have got several of these videos please check it out right and there are several mask hawks as i, I just said about this hypercapnia and hypoxia Hypercapnia is that, you know, the CO2 level is increasing. No, it doesn't. It doesn't lead. The mask usage doesn't lead to the hypercapnia. Hypoxia means oxygen level is decreasing. No, simple fake news. Distrust all this social media uh, like WhatsApp for, uh, you know, this kind of news, right? And mask is Western, distrust Western conspiracy. That is what, uh, you know, one of the fake news which I came across that uh, the mask is invented in western country not invented here itself is a cognitive bias 
Yeah, the name of that cognitive bias is not invented here. Here means in your read, people say that. Yes, it's a, it's a well-known cognitive bias, you know? So yeah, I don't really have any time to, uh, you know, explain all this critical thinking. Yes, I have several videos on those lines. So not invented here, please don't fall trap of that cognitive bias. So mask is Western, so what? Doesn't matter. Democracy is Western, so what? India is not democratic? Yes, it is, right? So distrust these pseudoscience friends. Mix coconut oil in the mask. Friends, never do that. Coconut oil is non-polar and it can potentially increase your risk of getting COVID-19. You know, many people spread this uh, fake news. I don't understand why people are spending their energy to spread these lies that can risk others' lives. Come on, you have only one life, precious life. And why you want to use your life for this kind of nonsense, stupidity, you know, really bad. Bandana and handkerchief is fine in place of mask is another hoax. No, it is not fine. You know, bandana or the, 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 the handkerchief of friends. Come on, getting a mask is not at all a problem. You know, the, the it's not costly, you know, and you can use and reuse a fabric mask. Uh, instead of that, why you want to, uh, you know, abuse the mask by wearing a, a kind of a bandana or a handkerchief? No. Fully vaccinated persons need no mask. Another hoax, you have to wear mask still, uh, you know, even if you get the full vaccination, two shots, uh, if you are in a crowded place, you know. Mask is not needed when physical distancing is maintained. No, mask is needed, still needed. I told you a combined approach is the most important. All these are hoaxes, friends. Let's bust the hoax rather than propagating this nonsense. Yeah, this kind of uh, handkerchief or bandana, not fine at all. You know, uh, whom are you cheating? Many people wear this to escape the fine, you know? So the police will fine you, right? If you are not wearing uh, the mask, or if you are doing this, this like escape, come on, don't cheat yourself. It's not about a fine to the police, but getting risk of COVID-19, it can save you a precious life, friends. You know, the bandana and handkerchief is not equivalent to the mask, okay? And there are several vaccine hoaxes too, including vaccines can cause blood clots, big hoax. Vaccines can cause COVID-19. You know, you get COVID-19 from the, va uh, the vaccine. No, it doesn't. Vaccines force novel coronavirus to mutate to deadlier variants and strains. Big news, I come across oftentimes in YAI, the Young Academy. Uh, many of my friends in the Academy spread this lie. No, it, it doesn't. Even uh, established professors are uh, uh, falling prey for this. Uh, friends, you know the measles virus or polio, you know, polio is completely eliminated from the world, you know. So because of the vaccine, the salt can sap in uh, the oral polio uh, uh, vaccine. Now that, do you think that because of this polio uh, vaccine that the virus has mutated to deadly strains to evade the vaccine? No. Antibiotic uh, resistance is entirely different from vaccine resistance. So there is nothing called uh, virus mutating to evade the vaccine and uh, evolving to deadlier strains. All these are propaganda and pseudoscience. Please never fall prey for it. Follow the government instruction. If it is the case, then why government is, uh, you know, paying a huge amount to vaccinate its citizen all over the world? If it's a conspiracy, why should the government do it? You know, apply logic, friends. Vaccines won't protect you from newer variants and mutants. Another lie. Vaccines can protect you. Fauci's video I linked up in the show notes. Have a look, please. All kinds of vaccines can protect you from most of the variants. You know, that is what the science says. Uh, you know, we are still uh, uh, learning a lot about the COVID-19, right? And don't spread this uh, uh, hoaxes and conspiracy theories, friends. Another very important hoax, which I come across through multiple channels is menstruating women should not be vaccinated. No, they are very safe to vaccinate. You know, why they are spreading these lies, friends? If you are menstruating, if you are on periods, no problem at all. Uh, the science have shown that there is no impact at all. You can get vaccinated, no problem. Another hoax is that Indians have got natural immunity. So we don't need vaccine. Who said so? Uh, we, are, we are one of the worst affected country right now. And the death rate is uh, climbing up, you know. So we don't have any natural immunity. We need vaccines. Trust government, friends. Don't trust the pseudoscience. Getting COVID-19 is no big deal and that is better than vaccines. Many the AI fellows, my colleagues are spreading this lie. No, 
COVID-19 is serious you know yes it is true 99 percentage of the people uh, get 98 to 99 percentage uh, you know get out of COVID-19 without any serious ramification but that one percentage itself is a big number you know in a country like India with more than 1 billion population you know one percentage can you afford this many people to die that's a big number friends uh, and no, that is a, it's a serious, you know, the, who knows, you're one among that, uh, uh, that 100%. So out of 100%, one person will die, you know. So uh, why to give your life for this chance play? Uh, life is not a Russian roulette, right? So it is not a, a good idea at all. Getting COVID-19 is not a form of vaccine. Mistrust this pseudoscience. If this is the case, then why government should uh, put, pump the money on uh, vaccine, vaccination of its citizen, right? Indian food is rich in immune boosters, so we don't need any vaccine. Friends, incorrect. None of the immune boosters work. I have released several videos on those lines. I have linked up in the show notes, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, jaggery or uh, ghee or, uh, you know, turmeric. All these things, uh, you know, it's good if you enjoy turmeric. I love turmeric, yes. I enjoy it, but uh, extrapolating more than that, that it is a huge uh, immune booster and all complete lies, mistrust is. Okay, so the biggest ramification is that people believe that these are immune booster, are uh, you know, the this uh, uh, herbs or uh, turmeric, so that I don't have to wear masks to go out. That is, I think, that is the main reason why we are really suffering this COVID-19 second wave here in India, you know. We have to stop these lies. Vaccines not recovered if you already had COVID-19 and successfully recovered. No, vaccines are still needed because it can protect you from other variants, you know. And uh, as per the, the government regulations, you should get vaccine after one to three months of post recovery from COVID-19. You know, vaccines are still needed, even if you successfully recover from the COVID-19, you see. So, mistrust all these hoaxes, friends. Uh, you know, trust only science. Uh, Professor uh, uh, Jamil, Shahid Jamil, my friend, he shared this very important post about the chances and probabilities in science. Uh, this post is about the, the blood clots after vaccine, that is one of the hoaxes, right? So, the chance of blood clot after vaccine is 1 in 6.6 .6 lakh. You know, that is a chance of getting uh, the blood clot. And now what is the chance of getting a, a random, uh, you know, the lightning strike, the thunder strike, dying from a random lightning strike is 1 in 1.38 lakhs. So <laughs> don't be stupid. You see, the chance of dying from a random lightning strike is so much higher than uh, getting blood clots. It, it's not even dying from blood clot. To get the blood clot itself from after this uh, COVID shield vaccine is so much lower, you know. So it's very high, riskier to die from a lightning strike comparing with this vaccine. Does that mean that you should not go out? Be afraid of this random lightning strike? Come on, what a logic is this? So Hawks friends, mistrust all the hawks you know so there are several hawks even there are people who genuinely believe millions of them you know in the facebook groups that covid 19 itself doesn't exist you know the virus itself was a hoax so he lost his wife that's a bbc news you know yeah uh, there are several of this news uh, several of the hawks people simply propagates this fake news and yeah fake news spreads much faster than the the truth you know, so uh, by by the truth goes uh, little by little, the fake news might have already reached the other side of the, the earth. So, you know, there are people, millions, I would say, millions still believe that the earth is flat. They genuinely believe it. They will never change their belief because they have this strong belief, you know. So it's not possible even uh, to, to make them believe that the earth is not, uh, you know, not flat, but it's round. You know, that is the cognitive dissonance. They can protest you. You know, so that is a problem, friends. That is a problem with cognitive dissonance and fake news and hawks. So, in summary, some other fake news are nebulizer can be used in place of oxygen supply. No, nebulizer cannot be used. Oxygen supply is entirely different, right? Nebulizer is not a substitute for the oxygen. So, there are consumer products like Shikokan that can disable or attenuate coronavirus. No, there are no consumer product to protect you from the coronavirus. I'm shocked to see that there are some reputed companies are releasing that in, you know, in, in India. I've seen that. But the same company in uh, Europe or the US 
or Japan, they are not doing this malpractice. Uh, and of course, this uh, Shaiko Khan is too expensive to 60,000 rupees for a small machine, which they claim that they can protect you from COVID-19. Please stop trusting this advertisement propaganda, friends. Beware of cognitive biases and logical fallacies. You know, so these, uh, as of now, the science says that we don't really have any product uh, to protect your disabled cor coronavirus, you know. Uh, so that kind of uh, products are non-existent. Of course, there are ways like uh, UVB, but UVB is extremely dangerous for human being, you know. So that kind of uh, uh, mistrust, that kind of products. Air conditioner increases oxygen. No, it doesn't. It's good if you feel good, you know, you know to use an air conditioner, of course, uh, provided that its uh, filter is uh, properly maintained then uh, air conditioner is good if you feel good about it. It can reduce the temperature. But other than that, extrapolating air conditioner is a substitute for medical grade oxygen is complete fake news. Don't trust it. And burn camphor, <laughs> yet another fake news. I don't understand why people are doing this nonsense. Or cow dung, you know, inside the room, just burn some cow dung and uh, burn camphor to increase oxygen. No, it's dangerous. Because if you burn anything, it takes up the oxygen from the atmosphere, friends. Especially if it's a closed, uh, you know, non-ventilated area. If you burn anything, oxygen will reduce. It doesn't increase. It's common sense. It's science. You know, science is nothing but common sense and nature. And still people spread this lie. It can risk someone's life. Please mistrust this kind of fake news, friends. And there are alternative medicines available that can increase the blood oxygen. No, there are not a single uh, alternative medicine is available to increase uh, the blood oxygen. Mistrust this uh, fake news. I read that in a AI group. Somebody has um, shared uh, a homeopathic medicine that supposedly increase the blood oxygen. If there is the, such a medicine, then why the government is investing money on oxygen generators and, uh, you know, uh, why all these problems are happening if this kind of uh, medicine is substitute for medical grade oxygen. Think about it. Apply the, uh, the logic and common sense. Don't feel trap of this uh, myth and lies and propaganda, you know. Trust government, friends. Immune boosters boost or modulate immunity. No, it doesn't. I linked up in the literature, uh, the show notes of this video. Immune boosters doesn't help at all. And boosting immunity itself is a bad idea, you know, uh, because a boosted immune system is responsible for a large number of diseases like rheumatoid, arthritis, even diabetes, you know. And also, I mean, we have only one way to boost the immunity that you cannot call it as boost the immunity, but yeah, to prevent from, uh, I mean, to ensure the immunity that that way is vaccine. Yeah, get yourself vaccinated. That is what the government says, right? So get it instead of trusting on this immune boosters, fake news, you know, and getting out without wearing a mask after thinking that the immune boosters will protect you from uh, COVID-19. Friends, don't fall trap of these fake news. Another fake news is lukewarm water or hot water or steam kills the coronavirus. No, it doesn't. Science repeatedly says that it's actually dangerous. Steam is actually very dangerous for coronavirus. So all these are fake news. And please stop trusting on these fake news and trust only the, the reliable uh, sources. And other tips include use daily wear glasses. You know, if you're wearing glasses, just wear it. Otherwise, just get a, a, a you know, a glass. So the, the glass which I use is uh, has a uh, you know the anti-fog uh, layer so it's a fog resistant glass so that i can wear easily the mask with the glass so you want, whenever you are in a public place wear it it can protect you the science uh, says that we have got high quality data to substantiate this claim that the, the the glass protects glass or of course the face shield but glass is very simple option you know and there are high quality data yes so use glasses with anti-fog into use uh, you know with the mask and I always wear the mask with the photochromic glasses out. So photochromic means it can change the color. So I get it. It's not a big deal. It's not that expensive too. And speak it in a low voice and ask uh, others to whisper, you know. So yes, we have got high quality data, published literature that says that if you speak in a very high voice, the pitch, you know, the volume, then chances are very high that uh, the, air, the droplets uh, are extremely high. The quantity of droplets are very high. So speaking lower can help to contain the spread of the, the COVID-19, you know. And of course, it's that you speak in a lower voice uh, to help others. So you have to ask others to speak in a lower voice uh, 
for that so that you can minimize your uh, risk of getting the COVID-19. You see, uh, my mask protects you and your mask protects me. You know, that is really important mantra for the COVID-19. So it's not that you wear the mask, you're protected. No, others should wear the mask. I have seen that people like Pinarahi Vijay, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, he's very religious with his mask wearing, uh, always wears the mask wherever he is, right? E even he he wears the, the face shield and still he got positive, COVID positive. So, you know, many people I know, my good friends here in uh, in Punjab, they're religiously, they're wearing masks and still they get COVID-19. How? Because others in the group are not wearing masks. Others are abusing masks by wearing this bandana and, uh, you know, this kind of um, uh, the handkerchief in place of proper mask, you know. So that is why my mask, I'm wearing mask to protect you. And you should wear mask to protect me. I'm uh, lowering my voice to protect you. You should lower your voice to protect me. That is a social etiquette, friend, right? Ask others to wear the mask to protect yourself. That's really important. And in high risk situations like uh, large crowds are expected or visit to hospital, you know, or a test center like RTPC test center or public transportation like bus or, uh, you know, uh, or uh, uh, train or the airplanes or supermarket or dentist or saloon. If you're going for a haircut, my suggestion is to use N95 mask. I never did this suggestion earlier. I always uh, insisted on using the fabric mask, but uh, you know, I think this is really important given the seriousness of this disease and the way it is spreading. I would go with N95 for at least for the next few months uh, in these high risk situations, like in the, in the, you know, in the crowded areas or the public uh, transportation. N95 is what I suggest. And yeah, so remember that uh, the my mask protects you and your mask protects me that is a mantra you know and it's not just the mask and social distancing or physical distancing plus uh, lowering the the voice you know everything matters so you are doing the things for the, the community uh, basically we are actually trying to break the chain of the transmission of covid-19 not that uh, you know it's not the time to be selfish and also uh, remember that whatever that uh, all these measures that you are uh, taking up you can still get uh, the disease who knows I'm very much religious with all these tips and tech whatever I preach I do that you know that is my lifestyle yeah so th does that mean that I'm immune to COVID-19 no no one is invincible friends even if you do all these things you can still get COVID-19 and we, we don't know really much about this COVID-19 science is just understanding it so it's be humble and be uh, intellectually you know uh, uh, intellectual hum humble humility is really really important at this time rather than being egoist and claiming that I will not get I'm immune to uh, the COVID-19 it's not the time for it and even if you get the COVID-19 protect yourself reveal it and uh, COVID-19 is not a stigmatic disease nowadays. Uh, of course, there is no stigma, zero stigma associated. So reveal yourself, right? And be complacent uh, with other people. Be conscientious with uh, others who are suffering the COVID-19. This is not the time for uh, taking a, uh, you know, taking a uh, non-serious stance and thinking, all is fine, nothing is going to happen. I will not get the COVID-19. No, that is not that kind of, uh, you know, thinking of positivity, uh, the power of positive thinking. No, it's not the time. Think about all the negativity, all the uh, things that can happen to you and take adequate precautions. You know, don't think that you're immune. Don't think Indians are immune from COVID-19. And thanks for watching this brief video and I hope it's uh, useful to you. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and share it in your groups. It can save somebody's life, you know. And do watch and subscribe to my channel. Do watch several other COVID-19 related uh, news. And do trust the government regulations rather than uh, uh, people who are spreading lies in social media. Please take care and if you can, please take care of someone else too. Goodbye and have a nice day.